Hello, everybody. My name is Al. I'm the channel manager over here at Bobcat. Uh, today, I wanted to take a look at uh, using the Bobcat 25 software with a rotary axis to do some engraving for uh, similar to a ring, a uh, ring type scenario. So what I'm going to do is uh, merge in um, merge in this file here, and here we have this this uh, company name and uh, basically we want to pocket it out on on a one inch uh, one inch uh, piece of bar stock so there's two different ways we can do this we can do this with the Bob art software or we can do it with um, with uh, uh, just the, a wrapping group so uh, the first thing that I want to do is just kind of create a new layer and make it active and then from there I'm just gonna draw a circle uh, on center okay so this represents my stock so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure that uh, stock and from there I'm gonna get um, its length when I unroll it so uh, or unwrap it uh, in other words when it's laid out flat so now I'm gonna just draw a rectangle and this is gonna be let's say one inch and this is gonna be 3.1416 all right, so now we have our stock, we have our unwrap. We're gonna add another layer. This is, we'll call this text. I'll just move this blue geometry from uh, the first layer over to the second layer. All right, so we basically have <clears throat> all the information that we need for now. So what I'm gonna do is get into the cam side of the screen here. I'm gonna run my stock wizard and I'm gonna set up some cylindrical stock and uh, just define, you know, where it's located and uh, what its length is. So that way we have our stock set up and then we'll set our zero where we touch off on the top end of the part. All right. So if we're going to do any four axis machining, we want to make sure we pick a four axis machine. So we'll come in here and grab the BC four ax mill. Uh, that will allow us to do the four axis cutting. So we have our stock, we have our unwrap part, and we have our text. So I'm going to take my unwrap part and my text and I'm just going to move this boundary over. So we'll do a translate. I'm going to grab all this stuff here and move it from here to there. And then um, also with my letters, I'm going to I'm going to move those over a little bit as well um, so that they're closer towards the the end of the part here so I'll just uh, just kind of move it over a little bit so that way we get it a uh, minus point one so we get it closer to the end of the part all right now from here what I want to do is uh, I'm just gonna create a line uh, parallel drag I'm gonna just drag this out a little bit drag this one out a little bit drag this one out a little bit and then we'll bring this boundary in a little bit Okay, and the reason why is when we do a, a pocketing routine, the tool's gonna wanna stay inside of the boundary. So I'm just ex extending it out so it's extended out on every side. All right, so now I wanna get into the cam tree and I wanna set up a wrapping group. And what a wrapping group allows you to do is take 2D tool paths and uh, wrap them to cylindrical stock, which is exactly what we want here. So we'll go to add wrapping group. We're gonna come in and edit our wrapping uh, diameter, which is a one inch diameter. And then our origin, because we touched off on the top of the part, we just wanna uh, say you, got, you gotta go half inch down to get to uh, center. All right, so now we have our wrapping group set up. We have our geometry set up here. Um, let me just take this and this stuff here. I'm just gonna move that over to the uh, text layer. And uh, all right, so now let's go ahead and load up a pocket. So we'll do pocketing, and then we're gonna select our boundaries here. And then um, we're gonna tell it what size tool we're gonna use. This is really small. We're gonna do it, use a 30 thou cutter. We're gonna do a zigzag pocket profile after. 25% step over. We're going to do a lace angle of zero. We're going to go down um, on just a small little amount. We don't want to push this too hard or we're going to end up breaking our tool. Zero our finished tool. We'll go ahead and compute this. 
And now we have our pocketing routine to go in there and to machine out these letters. Now, even though it's done as a wrapping group, the geometry is laid out flat. So in order to, to tell what's going on here, we want to run this through a simulation. So we'll go to modules, mill simulation. This will bring up the simulation software. Uh, if you have machine simulation, you'll see uh, you know your machine. Otherwise, you want to just click on tool focus here. You want to uh, turn off your tool path. You want to um, hide your initial stock. You can turn your speed down, and then we can see how this is just going to go back and forth, uh, cutting out our pocket. So it's going to go back and forth and rotate and, and work its way around. We can speed this up here. You can see it's just a... Uh, just the pocketing routine, no big deal. Come in here and clean up all this stuff. And uh, this is a real quick way for you to uh, put some letters along a, a cylinder, or in this case for like a ring type example. And uh, here we can see the, see the result that we have here. And looks like we did a pretty good job. We might drop down tool size uh, or adjust our spacing to make sure that we get the the tool to fit in between the letters, but uh, and you can see we have a, uh, quite a bit of space here so we can make some adjustment to our spacing on our letters, but there you go. Uh, the next video that, I, that I'm going to do here is going to show you how to use the BobArt software to do uh, 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 wrapping and boss surface so we have more of a curve and some letters, but we'll pick that up in the next video. Thanks guys.